The script for the performance was developed uh, from uh, several different sources. Uh, first of which is the famous book. I don't know if you know the book, but it was uh, quite famous. It was, it's a Belgian book, uh, which was uh, first published, I think, in the, at the beginning of the 60s, and it was extremely popular throughout the 60s, 70s, uh, early 80s, and many, many generations of uh, European children grew up with this book. Um, only the main character uh, didn't have the same. <coughs> Kaput. No. Uh, only the main character didn't have the same uh, name uh, in all the countries. So uh, in in Yugoslavia, in former Yugoslavia, which is in a way the subject of this performance, uh, her name was Maya. But also in England, as far as I know, she was Debbie. In uh, Czech, Czechoslovakia and Poland, it was, she was uh, Martina or Martinka, and so on. Uh, it was translated into many languages, and as far as I know, it's still being published. But uh, uh, you can still find the new versions. Uh, of the book. Uh, so basically, I was interested uh, in telling the story about the contemporary society in which I live, uh, which has uh, gone through many changes since the moment I was born. Actually, I was born in 1973, which you can hear. This, this one wasn't my mono, it was about me, actually. So uh, uh, I was born in 73, I was very much uh, uh, influenced with this book. Uh, I was born in Belgrade, but uh, I, uh, I think I lived in three or four di different countries without changing the city. So, uh, so basically the entire surrounding that I was born in and uh, grew up in uh, was constantly changing. Um, and I was interested to see, to, to question uh, my own position that uh, was uh, 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 since the childhood and uh, to question all the values that I was brought up with uh, and also the values that were delivered to me and to my generation through this book, among other things. Uh, this book was extremely popular in former Yugoslavia and uh, I think it's a book about uh, neoliberal capitalism uh, and it was very interesting because we lived uh, in uh, socialist country, but it was, as you probably know, not very typical socialist country, which was constantly balancing between the East and the West. So uh, one, of the, one of the things that we got from the West was this book, and uh, together with all the values promoted by it. But uh, those values uh, went, uh, well, went well together with all the other values that we were, we were brought up with in the former Yugoslavia, and that was interesting. Um, I was also interested in the position of those children in the book because they are alone most of the time. Uh, they are drawn more or less uh, uh, like uh, very small children that look maybe like uh, the age of five and seven, but still they are very capable of taking care of themselves without any help. You can never see the parents and so on. So basically, to make the very long story as short as possible, um, uh, these were, those were my concerns and things that I was interested in. Uh, questioning the idea of a childhood uh, being fall, uh, falling apart and also being um, judged in a way from today's perspective. So I was thinking about, about my own childhood but also about the notion of a childhood and also the question whether, whether there is a childhood <laughs> after all. Uh, uh, in today's world. So, um, uh, the script uh, was uh, made, as I said, from different resources and it was a very complex work uh, where we actually created a lot of materials but uh, not all of which ended up in the performance. Uh, uh, first, we used the book, uh, then we used the novel written by uh, Sreden Ugricic, who is the contemporary Serbian uh, author who wrote this book in 1991. His book was called The Maya and Me and Maya, so we took his title. And he wrote the book uh, 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 with uh, wanting to tell the story about the downfall of Yugoslavia from the perspective of this book. 
uh, we more or less did the same. Actually, only we moved uh, 20 and something years yeah, later from, this, uh, from that peri period. And uh, good for the theater, but bad for our reality. There were many, many subjects uh, that really served the purpose well, unfortunately. So uh, uh, we, and the third uh, layer was also a play written by Milan Markovic, he's a very prominent young Serbian uh, playwright um, who wrote some sort of a, a play uh, based on all of those materials and also we used some internet uh, forums and also our own private text that were conceived during the during, uh, performances also I wrote one, <laughs> one monologue and so on, so a lot of different texts working together as a, as a collage, in a way, and uh, telling basically the same story from different angles. Uh, okay, so the question is, how do teenagers um, respond to this performance in Serbia? How does youth respond to this text? I have to say, first of all, that this was not made as, a, as a primarily as a young audience performance. This is a young audience and mixed audience performance, and it's not being performed in, in any of the theaters for children and young people. It's being performed in one um, very important repertory theater in Belgrade. But we had uh, some interesting experience with young audience, and. Um, of course, uh, they react differently uh, because they cannot relate personally to some of the uh, topics uh, uh, deriving from some past times that they cannot really remember and that they do not know personally. But also, uh, 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 they are very interested in the performance. Uh, they are quite... Um, I mean, they are caught up with the performance because they recognize all the topics in the performance as their own, especially uh, those coming from the contemporary context. So, uh, in a classical sense of theater for children and young people, uh, which I know quite well because I used to run one theater for children and young people for 10 years, and I admire this kind of audience and uh, always uh, work with a great uh, caution and respect for this kind of audience. Uh, uh, this was not done primarily uh, uh, or only for them. So our, our idea was to make some sort of uh, uh, mixed, mixed audience young people kind of theater and we completely uh, got them interested, at least in Serbia. So I'm very sorry that we didn't have any of them today on either of the performances. So. Um, could you tell us a little bit about how other generations have reacted, how people your age or older have responded? Well, uh, <laughs> it might sound as a surprise to you, but I think that people in uh, uh, Serbia find this performance, or in former Yugoslav area, find this performance hilarious. Actually, they find it quite funny. Uh, <laughs> I think it's a psychological mechanism of I don't know, dealing with uh, everything that we've been through. But um, uh, um, for me, it was also interesting uh, to see it today twice, because I had the impression that people were interested, but uh, the audience was generally more quiet than usually, which is also nice. It's a, it's a different uh, experience. But uh, in Serbia, people usually laugh much more also depending on the audience, depending also on the performance. And uh, what we usually do, I have to say that, we usually uh, react to the context in which we perform this performance, which we didn't do here because we didn't have enough time. But we usually, when we, uh, I also need to say another thing. This was primarily uh, made for former, Yugos former Yugoslav uh, region because uh, so there are, uh, there, that's why we have a lot of uh, local um, things that might not be interesting for people outside of this region or uh, or could be but in a different way uh, uh, and this was actually our first experience out outside of this region 
and I found it very interesting, uh, and uh, but but in a different way, I have to say. But uh, then again, uh, I think that uh, uh, this is also more or less the story about Europe and uh, all the values and problems in a way. So uh, also also it opens up uh, an issue of political correctness, which is one of the main issues. Uh, uh, of European culture, and uh, I have to tell you that uh, sometimes uh, when we were using the, the original stories from the book, we didn't intervene at all uh, on the text. So basically, and some of the texts uh, seem almost fascist from today's perspective, especially the one with the little girl Coco. Uh, she was actually uh, depicted in the book as a, as a, as a little African girl and uh, all the, and Maya in the real Maya in the book uh, is really bullying her all the time so this is completely not acceptable from today's perspective and it was considered considered a children's book uh, back in the in the 60s when when this uh, particular uh, book was edited so uh, um, you know, how those concepts and notions about what's acceptable, what's not accept acceptable also change during time and uh, our attitudes about it and our perspectives and uh, so basically this was considered as a benign, uh, benevolent uh, children's book when I, was, when I was a little kid and when you look at the book you can see that uh, uh, in most of the, the, the drawings uh, in, the, in the book, you can see my panties, which also will not be acceptable <laughs> today, so, and so on. So I won't bother you with details, but uh, uh, this, uh, this character and her universe opens up many questions for me, still. For the actors, are your, your stories also in yes. Uh, some stories are truthful, some we just invented. And we try to do everything to the performance in the way uh, yeah. yeah, when it comes to superpowers, yeah. so we used um, nowadays issues in Serbia, you know. So we talk about. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> so, uh, superpowers, it's a scene made out of um, <clears throat> stories or the way how we relate. Uh, relate, relate to issues in, in our society. So um, there is this, uh, when I was little, I had this superpower to uh, cut the budget, cultural budget, or not even have one. So it really happened in Serbia somehow. So we used, uh, yeah, so we used um, um, issues and we used materials when it comes to diseases. So most of them are true. Documentary. Yeah. Uh, diseases and superpowers, like gay, children gay, and then you just put in like reality from Serbia, and not only from Serbia, but also from some part of Europe as well. You don't actually get in the same moment that you are in reality, like that these things are happening because it seems like the superpower are still on. So that was, I mean, that is very interesting for most uh, of the audience everywhere, especially, as Anna said, we are updating this. If we are playing it in Croatia, then we are uh, putting their superpowers <laughs> to say it in a way. So we wanted to do the same in Poland here, but, but we came yesterday, so we didn't have enough time to intervene, you know. But in a way, it's, it's funny, I mean, it's interesting to follow because like the definition for how audience is reacting in a way, uh, the best definition for me was that uh, some of my colleagues said that this is a kind of uh, emotional roller coaster. So maybe some parts are not so like logical and not uh, clear to them, but in a way they are driven by emotions and they are going up and down. So it's really interesting for us as well because we have a lot of fun playing it and it seems like a really uh, simple one, but in a way we are really tired after afterwards. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yes. Can you uh, comment on the sexual violence that goes through it? Like, can you tell us what that means, what it means? 
actually, I, I think that this performance uh, uh, deals with all kinds of violence, it's not just the sexual violence. Um, as I said, I was very in, much intrigued with the original illustrations of this book. So basically the way the girls look like uh, comes directly from the book. And plus, not, to, not from the later versions of the book, but uh, the, the earlier ones from the 60s, actually. So I was not particularly interested in sexual violence. I was interested in all different kinds of violence. Um, of course, I was uh, starting point was my society, society that I live in, that is Serbian society. But uh, we can really broaden the focus, and uh, I think it goes for more or less most of most of European societies, right? Now, most of Western culture societies, uh, and also. Um, Sexual uh, violence is just one. For me, it's also a story about fascism, about uh, uh, about um, how to say that, about uh, intolerance towards uh, different people, all kinds of different people. Uh, so yeah, the, basically, the, I I hope I did manage to give you some answer. I wasn't particularly, this wasn't on, on the top of my list. It was just one of the things that I was interested in talking about. Okay, well, if there are no more questions, then thank you very much for coming.